tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. A lot of sports growing up actually. Basketball, tennis, swimming, right. but none of them hit me in the fields as much as playing football. Yeah. So I stuck with it ever since. Yeah, so I would consider you... football as probably one of the most passionate sports that you could witness. Mm -hmm. um, Marlico is actually formed pretty recent. It was okay. Two thousand nine. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, well, the PFL team was actually formed uh, just a few months ago, like okay. two, like two months before the season. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anton said he was putting a team together, and you know the opportunity was there, so I couldn't say no to that. And yeah, for sure. And they put together a really good team. Yeah. On and off the pitch, so. Yes. How was your react? What was your reaction when you got like that offer? Uh, felt like a kid, to be honest. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, reaching this level because I was always so close to it, but I, I dealt with a lot of injuries growing up. Yeah. So that really set me back, and this is like the one time that I really didn't deal with any major injuries so right. that, it felt good for me so yeah. most recently um it was the pfl back right. in late october early november um it was actually it's a very it was a very short so mm -hmm. it was just five games because it was just a single round robin so we play each team once only. yeah who were the teams so, you like to be um so there's stallion laguna fc um, United City FC, the Ascol's development team, uh, Mendiola, and Ascol's Kaya. Team. I mean, the fact alone that we were able to compete during a pandemic says a lot about the resilience of Philippine football. Right. And Anton, Anton put this team together merely two months before, and Shut they really up. worked on it to make to make sure that we were able to play. I mean. We were all put together basically through Zoom, you know, and oh, wow. all of us are playing on a one pass. Yeah, and all of us are playing on a one pass salary. The talent is here. It's just yeah. that it's just not that popular yet. Yeah, sadly, I think I think it will get there. Would you say it has grown? Philippine football hasn't stopped growing, especially through the last couple of years or so. Um, if you take a look at the Sea Games that happened here um, back during 2019. Um, this is if, like watching um, our youth, like our under twenty three team, attract that much people to watch shows yeah. that okay, you know, it's it's actually growing. And then you have our men's national team, which yeah. qualified for the Asian Cup for the first time, and you have our women's national team who are pretty close to qualifying for the World Cup oh, yeah. itself. So, and then with uh the pfl here as well you know they're going to be adding clubs it's just philippine football is 100 percent growing it's it's got a That's bright crazy. future yeah the best thing you can do is you know i mean it's covid at the moment so maybe you know like you want to stay safe but yeah like i think youtube is a good tool like there's so many videos of football on youtube like you can search up like any of the best players they have tons of footage of them and you can watch them and you can just be inspired by those players the best players that played the game but also like you know if you can go outside just you can get a ball cheap from decathlon or anywhere and you can just you know start kicking the ball around and just play just try and play every day every day and really you will get better if you just keep at it so yeah. Growing Delicious. up as a kid, yeah, honestly, um, I kept telling myself if I grew up in a different country, you know, because at the time football really wasn't as big as it is now. And being a professional football player is something I've always wanted to do, you know. And now that I have the chance to do it, I mean, there's nothing more I can say. It's like living the dream, basically. Yeah. Um, what I would say is you should never be content with yeah. where you are you should always look to achieve higher get better and that's just one thing i want to focus on it's just improving myself on and off the pitch 
Like for me, like training at home, like it's an everyday thing. Like you have to just sort of like, even on some days if you feel lazy or something, you just have to sort of you know, put yourself out there, get yourself out there just to do it. Because, you know, like every day, if you do it every day, you will improve, as I keep saying. But yeah, you will improve. You just, so you just have to just, it's all about the consistency. Which yeah. I think for me personally, it's definitely like discipline. Is the biggest thing for me. Like, uh, it takes a lot to, you know, keep doing something constantly every day. But like, yeah. once once you sort of get over that, like, it just becomes second nature. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, but yeah, discipline, and I think also it helped me. Like, the sport helped me sort of. I mean, growing up, I was a bit. I was like a pretty shy kid, you know like growing up but yeah I think you know being in a team setting and everything like that everything that comes with the sport it sort of helped me sort of come out of my shell a little bit growing up so that was also a big thing for me uh, I would like, agree with Peter that this discipline discipline is a really big factor that you can get from football um, especially growing up since I was under the coach hands program if you play for coach hands you need to have discipline that's like, what did he do? Can... What did Coach Hans want to do? Uh, coach Hans was a very tough coach, but he was also a very... He was a... How do I say this? You learn a lot. You learn so much from him. Like, once you get past the hardship of it all, you really reflect and, okay, you know, I learned so much. Um, another thing I could say football has taught me would be patience. Sorry, patience. The yeah. Patience, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, when I was back in high school, I was a reserve goalkeeper. So, as a reserve goalkeeper, you struggle, you know, you don't really get playing yeah. time. And yeah. You just have to be patient with it. And I think discipline and patience are the two most um, ideal values that I've gotten from football. Right. Say, it's tough because I had to change the way I play. Ah, wait, because or yeah, yeah. Uh, n not my position per se, but just the way I move and play. Adjust, because, yeah. Because, yeah, because when I was younger, I was really reckless. You know, yeah. I would just go in like full steam, not think about yeah. the consequences. And now you really have to look out for your body. You know, um, that's one thing I can say about being an athlete is. Health is wealth, and you really have to take care of yourself to be able to um, achieve the goals that you've set for yourself. And you know, it's just never give up. Like, yeah. And like what, that. like what I said earlier about football, um, having patience is a really big factor, and that helped me get through all my injuries. One thing yeah. I would say to children that wanna like pursue football is you know don't think of not being able to do this just have fun i mean have fun yeah you'll get to meet people just have fun with it and you know i mean there are a lot of people who play football just for fun because they enjoy it and you know like what i said earlier you'll never know till you try so just have fun get a ball kick around see where it goes you know so yeah, I think the I main know. thing is, you know, you need to be able to find something that you yourself, like, enjoy doing. That's like the main thing, like, you have to enjoy doing it. Otherwise, you know, it may feel like a chore or whatever. But I think also you have to sort of be open to trying things. Otherwise, you may be missing out on whatever it is that you could be doing. So I think you have to be open to trying things and make sure you enjoy it. and. Also, when you do find something that you enjoy, and uh, you just have to stay consistent. Uh, that's the key to just being better at it. Just stay I say, don't be afraid to take risks. Um, I like that, yeah. I follow the saying, um, whenever it feels scariest to jump, that's when you jump. Because I'd rather try and fail rather than live with the regret of not trying. So, don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone to try and use that.
stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.